Siren, why did you call this meeting? Have you found a way to get rid of King Triton for good? Father, I know I have failed you, but I think I've come up with a solution to our problem. There is someone I would like you to meet. Ah, Mermaid Witch, I see. How will you help us with our problem? I have created a spell which will place you in King Triton's body and place Siren into a girl mermaid's body. And how will that help us? Father, with you in King Triton's body, you can implement the changes you want in Mermaid Land. I can befriend Ariel and that pesky mermaid protecting them, Little Kelly. Interesting. This may just work. I must mention, the only thing that won't be changed in the spell is your voice. And when the spell is over, the other person will have no memory of what happened. We can find our way around the voice. Now, let's prepare for this spell. Oh, Merrick, I really hope it's not you behind the poisoning. I'd always hoped you'd turn out good so that we could rule together. Back in Mermaid Land for another day of trying to protect the King Triton and Ariel. They're like a second family to me now and I won't let anything happen. I still need to figure out who's the one that poisoned King Triton. I don't think it was Ursula because she's disappeared. Oh, there's still ink spots from where she was here before though. Uh, Ursula's gone, but he did mention his, you know, twin brother or evil twin or something. Merrick was his name? Uh, maybe he's behind it, but we still have no proof. And the only person I've seen in the castle when they're not supposed to be was that girl. Where she came when King Triton was in a coma, and then she scurried off and squirted me with ink as well. I don't know what her deal was, but I need to make sure that no one is going to try anything against King Triton again. That guy is amazing, and I don't want anything bad to happen to him, especially now that I've sworn that I protect him. I'll go see Ariel in a bit, but I want to make sure that he's feeling better. Let's see if he's in here. Um, let me see. Oh, hey, King Triton. How are you feeling? I'm feeling a lot better now, little Kelly. Thank you for your help. Ariel, on the other hand, is very upset and worried. I was wondering if you might do something to cheer her up. Of course, King Triton. I'll do whatever you need me to do now that you're not well. Look, I'll look after Ariel and I'll try and cheer her up. You know, I'll think of something. You just get some rest and don't worry, the guards are still posted outside. Okay, so he wants me to cheer Ariel up, but what can I do to do that? I mean, I understand why she's worried. There's someone trying to get rid of her family for good. And they rule this kingdom as well, so all these mermaids and fish and creatures, sea creatures here, they all rely on Ariel and King Triton to keep this place going. I'm a little bit worried, you know, maybe this pressure has gotten to her, but what can I do to cheer her up? Um, oh, I know! A sleepover! Oh my gosh, that would be amazing! Okay, uh, hello? Ariel! Hey, there you are! It's so good to see you! How are you feeling? Look, I was thinking, um, I was wondering if you wanted to do something a little bit fun tonight, you know? Uh, it could be a surprise! I'm not so sure, little Kelly. I'm so worried about protecting my father and staying safe from whoever is trying to hurt us. Oh, I know, Ariel. It's a really bad situation. But your dad really wants you to have fun. So, fine, I'll tell you. I was going to keep it a surprise, but I may as well tell you because it might get you excited. I was thinking that tonight, me and you could have a sleepover. I'm not even quite sure what a sleepover is. I've never heard of them before. 
Well, look, I'll explain it to you. A sleepover is when a group of friends stay over in each other's house and you eat snacks, you watch movies, you can gossip, you might be able to sleep in a sleeping bag. You know, it's a really cool experience. I forgot that you were a mermaid and maybe you guys don't do the same things as us humans do when I'm above water. But look, I'm gonna sort it all out. I'm gonna get the supplies and I'm gonna get some pajamas for us too. Okay, I'll be back in a while, okay? Just stay safe. Aw, uh, this is gonna be so much fun. I understand why she's worried, but I have got a lot to plan for. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. Okay, uh, what am I going to need for a sleepover? Oh my gosh, okay. Um, well, I did kind of say it to Ariel, so what did I tell her it was? Because I want to make sure that it's exactly what I explained it. Um, I said that it is snacks, so I need to find some snacks. Um, sleeping bags, I'll need to find them. And pajamas. But where am I going to find all that stuff down here? If I was above water, I'd be able to just go to a mall or to a market or to something. But down here, I don't even know if they sell that kind of stuff or even if there is stores. Oh gosh, who's going to be able to point me in the right direction? I don't want to bother King Triton and I don't want to bother Ariel either. Um, I could talk to the doctor. No, I don't want to bother him either. He's probably busy. Uh, what about... <gasps> Sebastian! Oh my gosh, how could I have forgotten about Sebastian? He was here when I first got here and he helped me. Maybe he'll know where to go to get all these items. Okay, I'll need to go to where I saw him first and see if I can talk him into giving me some good info on how I can make this sleepover amazing. Let's go look for him. And you're sure this spell will work and I'll trade bodies with King Triton? I am positive and the same with Siren. She has chosen the girl she wants to trade with. Once I complete the spell, you will be in their bodies, and your voices will be the same, but everything else will seem exactly like the person you've changed into. And King Triton and the stupid girly mermaid I'm changing into will then be trapped in these cells. It is the perfect crime, Father. All right, witch. Start your spell. Did it? It actually worked. What just happened? Where am I? Oh, Sebastian, there you are. I've been looking for you. Oh my gosh, how are you doing? Ah, little Kelly. So nice to see you again. How are you? Oh, Sebastian, I'm pretty good. Although, um, Ariel, you know the Princess Ariel, of course you do. Uh, it turns out she's kind of feeling a little upset and worried. So I decided that I would try and plan a sleepover. But there's some things that I just don't know where to find in Mermaid Land. And I was wondering, you know, uh, if you could help me maybe? That sounds wonderful. Well, tell me the items you need to retrieve and I will tell you who you need to talk to. I know everyone around here. Well, Sebastian, for a successful sleepover, usually what you would need is, uh, you know, some snacks, um, some sleeping bags, and some pajamas. Would you know anywhere I could find these things? Hmm, I see. Well, all the things you speak of are actually human things, but I can tell you where you might find a similar but more aquatic things. First the snacks, you'll want to go see Claus the Crab, he has a market stall where he sells snacks. Uh, aquatic versions? Okay, uh, I guess that will work, okay, uh, so Claus the Crab for snacks, okay, what about, uh, the sleeping bags, you know, the things that you, you sleep in, I don't know. Sleeping bags, I think I know where they are, but not sure who would have them down here. Oh, I know. 
Jabba Jaw. He collects the stuff he finds on the ocean floor. It's crazy what you humans throw in the ocean. Be careful with Jabba Jaw. If you are not careful, he will jabber on you all D. Okay, well, I don't mean hopefully someone has thrown sleeping bags into the ocean, but hopefully Jabber Jaw has something that I can make work with that. Okay, and then what about pajamas, you know? I really want Ariel to feel like she's in a real human sleepover. How are we gonna work that one out? Pajamas! We definitely don't have them down here. But if anyone needs a new bikini top or something sewn, they go to Alana. I'm sure she will sort something out for you. Oh, cool! So she's like a kind of like a designer or something. Oh, look, Ariel's out and about. Oh, gosh, I need to get all this stuff sorted before she finds out what I'm planning. Well, I kind of already told her. But anyways, okay, so we got Claws the Crab for the snacks. We got Jabberjaw for the sleeping bags, but don't get caught with him too long. He might talk the ear off me. And then we've got Alana for the pajamas. Look, Sebastian, you've been awesome. I'm going to go and get all these things. And look, if you feel like it, come over to the sleepover later. It's just going to be in Ariel's room in the palace. I'll speak to you soon. Okay, I've got all those things now all i have to do is find all the people hopefully they won't be too hard to find if people know who they are i can ask a few people so first up is to get the snacks that's most important so let's go find claws the crab i've been swimming around for a while i can hear someone shouting about like selling snacks but i just don't know where they are well, look there's a market stall up here but where's claws the crab I just can't see. Oh my gosh, there he is. Five fish eyes for five dollars. Oh, hello there, darling. What can I do you for? Well, Mr. Claw, Mr. Claw Crab, sorry, I don't really know what to call you, but um, I'm having a sleepover for Princess Ariel, and I'm heading around Mermaid Land to pick up some items that I need for the sleepover, and I got a recommendation for you that you sell snacks. So, fish eyes and stuff, right? Oh, delicious. Well, take whatever you need. Anything for the beautiful Princess Ariel. Wow, how very kind of you, Mr. Claw. Okay, uh, let me see what you have here. We've got a uh, fish eye. Okay, I think I'll pass on that. Fish soup. Okay, well, it's not exactly popcorn and nachos. Uh, this stuff doesn't look so bad. Pink snake coral. I guess that kind of looks like licorice. Okay, let's get two of those. And let's get two of the blue ones too. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Claw. I'm actually heading off to find Jabberjaw. So wish me luck. And I'll see you again soon, hopefully, for more snacks. Bye. Aw, he was really sweet. Okay, now I've got the snacks ready. I really need to find these sleeping bags. So I need to find this Jabberjaw guy. But from the sounds of it, he's like a hoarder. So I'm sure he has, like, some spot where he keeps everything. Uh, I'm just gonna have to have a look around Mermaid Land and see what I can find. Okay, I was swimming around and I spotted this, like, random-looking stuff up here. So I'm gonna go check it out. I guess that could be... Gabberjaw? I'm not sure. Uh, I'll ask him. Hello there, Mr. Shark. Uh, is your name Gabberjaw by any chance? I'm actually looking to speak with you. Oh, how are you doing? Who are you? Want to see something cool? Look, I found this this morning. Oh, and this too. Who are you again? Oh, look at this too. Whoa, 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 Mr. Gabberjaw. Whoa. And all this stuff that you found this morning is really, really cool. But, um... I need to find a certain particular item, and I don't know whether you have it or not, uh, but it's called a sleeping bag, and I need, like, two or maybe even three just in case. Um, I was just wondering if you have any here, but, oh, my gosh, all the stuff you've got is really nice. I have no idea what those are, but you can take a look around all my stuff and take whatever you need. Not this, though, or that, or this. Hey, my name's Jabberjaw. Nice to meet you. People tell me I love to talk. Do you like talking? I sure do like talking. <laughs> yes, I do like talking. Well, thank you for being so kind. I'll have a look around your stuff and see what I can find. Okay, well, we've got like some nuclear waste, it seems. Oh, it's not good that it's being dumped in the ocean. Okay, what's that? Mm, weird, okay. Let's have a look in the closet. Uh, nothing in there. 
Oh, sleeping bags. Perfect. Okay, so we've got two sleeping bags. So that's that ready. Mr. Gabberjar, Jabberjar, uh, thank you so much for your kindness. Um, I'll speak to you soon. Oh, wow. That guy was kind of crazy, but I kind of liked him. Okay, now there's only one last stop on my list, and that's to go see Alana, the girl who fixes the, I don't know, people's uh, shell bikinis and stuff like that for the mermaids. I guess they don't have to wear lots of clothes, but she's the girl they go to, so maybe, maybe she would have picked up cloth along the way and made something out of it that I could use as pajamas. That would be awesome! Okay, well look, I need to go and see if I can find her first. Let's see if we can swim around and find her. Okay, so this place is like pretty busy, but the guards are still on duty, which is awesome because I want to make sure that King Triton doesn't, you know, get hurt or anything like that. I would never forgive myself if if something happened to him while I was here. Okay, well, next up, I need to go find Alana. Father, have you heard? Little Kelly is planning a sleepover for me tonight. I'm so excited. Ariel, why haven't you grown? Father... What's wrong with your voice? What do you mean that I've grown? Oh, I must have a sore throat from the poisoning. And I'm still a little dazed and confused. Don't mind me. You should enjoy yourself during the sleepover and make sure you keep little Kelly busy. I mean, make sure you do lots of fun activities. Oh, we'll have the best fun, Father. Thank you. Okay, so I've had to ask around where this Alana girl lives and apparently she has a sign outside our house saying, I don't know, Alana's designs or something. So I'm looking around to see if I can find it, but gosh, I'm moving so slowly. Okay, let's swim a little bit more. She must be around here somewhere. I must have done a whole lap around the whole of Mermaid Land, seriously. Okay, whoo, oh gosh, this is gonna be such a fun night. I'm so excited. Okay, let me see, what have we got here? Oh, there's a sign. Okay, it says something. Let's get closer. Okay, it says Alana's Designs. Okay, let me knock. Knock, knock! Anyone home? Let the fun begin. Hello there. How can I help you? Oh, <laughs> you must be Alana. It's so nice to meet you. Uh, basically, I heard that you kind of designed the clothes around here or whatever you guys wear. And I need, uh, like a human-like pajama top. Well, two of them. I guess we don't need the bottoms because the pajama legs aren't gonna fit the tails. So yeah, I just need some kind of sort of pajama tops, like something to sleep in for me and my friend. Have you got anything that might work? Oh, I might have something in my closet that will work. There you go. Gosh, I got excited there and thought it was someone to come and hang out with me. I don't have many friends in Mermaid Land. Oh, thanks so much. You even put it in a bag for me. Um, oh, you you don't have many friends? Oh, that's, uh, that's pretty sad. Hey, why don't you, or would you like even, would you like to join us for this sleepover later? It's in the palace. It's actually with Princess Ariel. And we're just going to be chilling out and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So if you want to come, you can totally come. That will be amazing. Thank you so much. No problem at all. I'll see you later tonight. Bye. Okay, now we've got everything on the list. We got snacks, we got some sleeping bags, and we got some pajamas. This is gonna be the best sleepover ever, and Ariel's gonna feel so much better about everything once we have this little party of ours. I'm thinking we could do some dancing, uh, maybe some, you know, uh, eating <laughs> and gossip and stuff like that. Things that, like, normal girls would do, not like the poor stress that Ariel's under over this whole thing. I I just feel so bad. Hopefully nothing's happened while I've been out organizing everything. But let's head up to the room and set it up for a sleepover. It's gonna be so much fun. God, go get the general. I need a meeting with him immediately. 
I'll send King Triton's army into a war they'll lose, and then Triton will have no one to protect him, and I'll take over as King Merrick, ruler of the Mermaid Land. <laughs> General, I want you to prepare the army to battle the oceans to the south. They're causing a threat to our kingdom. But sir, the oceans of the south army are three times the size of ours. It's an impossible battle. We'll lose. General, I'm the king, and you must do as I command. As soon as the sun rises in the morning, we go to war. <laughs> <laughs>